Okay, you guys, uh, this lesson is multiplication patterns. So we're going to be doing some patterns we've been talking about in the last few lessons. And so here's our common core strand. And our question is, how can we use basic facts and patterns with multiples of 10? So here we go. Let's try a problem here. So have, how close have you been to a caterpillar? Probably not this close right here, but uh, everybody's seen caterpillars. So the actual length of this caterpillar is about 70 millimeters. And we'll talk about millimeters a little bit later. So the photograph here shows part of a caterpillar under a microscope at 10 times its actual size. So what would the length of the caterpillar uh, appear to be if its magnification was 300 times its actual size? So what we're going to do is uh, use basic facts to multiply 300 times 70, okay? So here we go, 3 times 7. Everybody knows 3 times 7 is 21, okay? So 30 times 7 is going to be the 3 times 7 with this 1, 0 after it right there. So it's going to have 1, 0. Remember, from the last lesson, um, you just multiply the numbers and then you carry how many zeros are with the 10. So it's 21 with a 0 right there, okay? The power of the 10. So 300 times 7 is the same as 3 times 7. Just multiply this 3 times 7 and then times 10 squared because 10 squared represents these two zeros or 100 right here. Okay, so we're going to multiply 3 times 7 is 21 and it's going to have two zeros. So 21 with two zeros is 2,100. Okay, so these two zeros represent these two, this two right here, which represents these two zeros right here. Let's keep going. So we got to go 300 times 70 right there. Okay, so 300 times 70, notice 300 has two zeros and 70 has one more zero. So it's the same as if we multiplied 3 times 7, which is 21, and then 100 for this uh, two zeros, and then 10 for this one zero. Two zeros plus one zero gets us 3. 10 to the third, so it's going to be 21 uh, with three zeros falling behind it, so that would be 21,000, okay? So all we've got to do is multiply 3 times 7 is 21, and then add these three zeros right here. So 21 with three zeros is 21,000, okay? So the length of the caterpillar would appear to be about 21,000 millimeters, and how, how big is that? Well, that's almost 70 feet long. We'll talk more about that in a second here. So what pattern did we see in the number sentence and the exponents? The number sentence, like this is 3 times 7 equals 21. That's a number sentence right there. So what pattern did we see in these number sentence and the exponents? Well, look, this exponent is 1. It has a, a 1, 0. This exponent is 2. It has two zeros after we multiply the, these numbers here, 3 times 7. Okay, after we multiply this number times this number, 3 times 7, then it has three zeros, which is this exponent. So it's, it's the number that you're multiplying with the exponent right there. So the number of zeros is the answer, uh, and the answer is the same as the exponent of the 10. All right, what would be the length of the caterpillar uh, if the microscope shows it at 10 times its actual size? Well, that would be 70 times 10, and 7 times 1 is 7, and we'd add that 0 and that 0, which is 700. It would be about 700 millimeters, and that's a bit over 2 feet. And how am I calculating this? Well, I just Googled it, you guys. 1 millimeter is about uh, 0.039 inches. So I took this 700 and I multiplied it times that and it gave me a big number that was like 27 or 28 inches and so then I divided it by 2 and that's a little bit over 2 feet right there. Okay, so let's use mental math in a pattern here. So five or 50 times 6,000. Okay, well 5 times 6 is 30. Everybody knows that. Okay, if you don't then just count 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, and I'm using my fingers here six times. 5 times 6 is 30. Okay, so 5 times 60 is going to be the same as 5 times 6, and then times 10 to the first, because there's one zero right there. So 5 times 6 is 30, and then add this one zero. This one zero counts for that one right there, or it counts for this one zero right there. That's how I do it. Okay, so 5 times 600 is going to be 5 times 6, uh, with these two zeros right here, so times 10 squared, okay, or 10 times 10 is 100, so 30 and add two zeros, 30 with two zeros is 3,000, okay, these two zeros are, are come from the, this exponent right here, okay, or these two zeros over here, okay, I'm not done, let's go 5 times uh, 6,000 then, or I'm sorry, 50 times 60, sorry, 50 times 60, well, here's a zero, 
Here's two more zeros, so it's going to be 5 times 6 with those three zeros, or 10 to the third. So it's going to be 5 times 6 is 30, and then add the th uh, three zeros. So that's 30,000. Okay, we want to know 50 times 6,000. Well, how many zeros do we see? I see one zero. I see three more zeros. So it's going to be 30, the 5 times 6, 30, and then times 10 to the fourth. So just add uh, four zeros onto that. So it's going to be 300,000 right there, okay? All right, you guys, hope that makes sense. Take care.